Ooh. Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, everybody. In case you don't know, this is definitely a Let's Play series that you have to watch the episodes in order. Yeah. If, if you skip even one episode, you're going to be horribly confused. Anyhow. Do we hit continue or chapter select? Um, Both should work, but continue is going to be where we left off. Okay. We are on chapter 2, 7.31 p.m. Start from this time frame. 7.31 p.m. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting? It's all so sudden. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Hmm, yes, if what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a be bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased, tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo! His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the ne next step, sir. Hmm, yes, but I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a minute. Fahaha! <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music. He's actually <laughs> playing, playing the music, music. yeah. <laughs> and that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more... That red-headed woman is another of their targets. At this point, at least. That file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. New info has been added. Okay. Trick time! Ghost! Do oh, but I want to examine other things. I'm not sure if you can. I guess. File, examine. Oh. Hmm, yes. How much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound that Jigo, I say! Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it! He's gonna be dead. <laughs> or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? <laughs> okay, well, trick! It seems this file contains information about that redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott! Did, did you see that? That file, I say, the file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target Miss Lynn is no longer a threat, sir. Bah! That's not what I'm talking about, man! Hmm, Lynn, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file... It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read Ooh, it at all. Do we get to see it on the screen, though? No, Aww. I don't think so. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? I like how he keeps smacking the machines. <laughs> hey, kicking machines, it, as weird as it sounds, it can actually make them work. Yep. I don't recommend it, but it can. <laughs> it's a portrait of the guy pulling a lever. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. What is it, a banquet? Look at those grapes! <laughs> Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I really got to put away- Or the phone and I got put away neatly. And the only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here. But where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Well, oh, mm -hmm. we did check the book. They have new information, I'm sure. Okay, new info. I lost my life at a lonely spot on the outskirts of town. I'm trying to regain my lost memories and find the truth of my death. The only lead is the woman who witnessed the death, Lynn. A woman who is at the scene, her name is Lynn. Yeah. Ray. Hunter in the dark. 
eyebrowed villain. The man who gave nearsighted Jigo the order to kill. He's I like how his thing is of him eating grapes. <laughs> He's probably behind my death and Lin's death too, but his motives are unknown. The masked muscle man. He appears to be the old man's servant. He operates the machines in the strange room expertly. Cool. And then we have new info on the, the junkyard. junkyard. The place I lost my life, it appears on the junkyard. Here I met Ray, and he taught me about my powers, and I met Lynn, who may have information. Luxurious parlor. A mysterious room, the mysterious old man who stole my life, and his equally mysterious underling are hanging out the here. The room appears to be equipped with many mysterious devices. Okay. Okay. Remember, keep an eye on the what the trick is at the top. If it's just a bunch of horizontal bars, it's nothing. <laughs> the projector. This is just gonna be funny. Egad, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? <laughs> My apologies, sir, but I do not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah! Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing, but our use of it is just plain off, confound it! Hmm, yes. In any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Ah. Hey, that's... Hmm, yes. Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very I wonder, careful. I wonder, I mean, we're gonna figure it out eventually, but like, what sort of job Sissel had in the past? Where it's mm. like, maybe he's one of the mafia, like, people and he just doesn't know it. Or, oh, or maybe, Or maybe he had, like, powers in real life too, and then they were like, wait, we need to kill him. And oh. then, yeah. Sissel. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? I love this music. Yeah, it's good. Again, this is the DS. I'm astounded by how good the animations are. Oh yeah, it's probably the best animations on the DS. We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Hmm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. Ha ha ha! Eat grapes. One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Probably. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Okay. <laughs> you could give him a case of the vapors again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we could just sit here watching him eat grapes. Does time actually pass up here? I don't think so, no. Maybe I need to start the projector again and then like <laughs> while it's going, like jump down. <laughs> Ooh, good thinking. Where is your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face! My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man, unless you want to see me malfunction! Certainly, sir. These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? I say, this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with the paintings spinning around and the like, it's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. The room was just completed recently, sir. We are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Hmm, yes. I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man! How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? <laughs> <laughs> this has, like, a lot of subtle humor, I will say. I could do that, or Ooh. I could go <laughs> You could to operate the, the fruit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I got to fruit. <laughs> My grapes! <laughs> it's a miserable state of affairs when I can't even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Egad! 
It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice! Bah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lin problem, sir. What? Lin? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment, sir. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Oh, then we can possess the telephone. Lin is in danger again. This is one step ahead, Tango. I'm at the, uh, the target's apartment now. <laughs> and out with it, man! Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? Who leaves their apartment unlocked? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division. Ah! No, man! Now you're even getting one step ahead of me! <laughs> we can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! <laughs> I'll get back to my job now, sir. I've given him a different voice every time I've talked. It's, well, but, but he's one step ahead. He's one voice ahead. <laughs> one voice ahead, Tango. <laughs> I, I need to decide on an actual voice, though. Uh, I'll get back to my job now. Uh, he's got glasses. He's smart. Uh, I'll get back to my job now, sir. <laughs> I'll get back to my job now, sir. I'll give him like a British accent. <laughs> Confound it! You're even hanging up one step ahead! <laughs> Trace complete. I got Lynn's a new phone apartment. Number. Well, that's probably good. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Jigo's pay. <laughs> Lynn. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ho ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Wait, I thought we were... <laughs> Trick. We can also go back to the junkyard if we want. Oh! Yeah. Okay. So there's kind of, like, uh, you can do different things. Uh, if you go back to the junkyard, I think Ray has new dialogue. I think sure. you, I think you can go. just keep going back there and he'll keep talking to us. Cool. Let's do it. Also, I love that animation of going yeah, through the phone beautiful. lines. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just as before, rain passes through me as it makes its way to the ground. I wonder if that red-headed woman is still here. Yep. After- oh, um, not- he's not- he's After not the- After the telephone call. <laughs> After the telephone call, she reported the whole incident to the police. Wait, was that the voice I gave? Yeah! Okay. This junkyard is such an out of the way place. It'll it's a, it's not call. quite as old man. It's like this junkyard is such an out of the well, way it, place. Well, he's supposed to have an old man voice. Oh, okay. So, um, she was, um, darn it. It's okay. What was the voice? I, this I junkyard is such an out of the way place. <laughs> this junkyard is such an out of the way place. It'll there take them a while to get here. Until they arrive, though, it looks like she's watching over your body. A sense of duty, eh? It's a wonder she isn't scared of ghosts in this spooky place. <laughs> I love that animation he does. Yeah. The ghosts are already here. <laughs> hey, cut that out! She'll think I'm haunting the place! In any case, just leave this place to me. You go out and pursue your mystery. Trick time. Yeah, so... Ghost! Would you do? Oh, we can't do anything. Because the bicycle's not here. <laughs> or, the, no, the, the umbrella. We use the umbrella. Oh. Yeah, so we actually can't leave the telephone booth. So we have to go to the apartment. Shrek. <laughs> oh, man. Well, but we had some new dialogue here. Yes. Whoosh! <laughs> He's just pacing the house, Oh, like... yeah. Oh, I love this music, too. It's so good. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. We can take care of him. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm. It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. Oh, no! That poor, brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, I have to do something about this situation, and fast. 
Trick time. The full. Oh boy, do that while he's looking. Yes. Oh, it's. Wow, he sucks. <laughs> he's like, yeah, whatever. Oh, the dog's dead? Yeah. Oh, no! We have to save it! Huh? Where am I? And more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course! Do you see anyone else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach it to the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla's in trouble! You mean, you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I Missile! Nice oh, to meet it's you! It's Missile! <laughs> it's Missile! I'm a Pomeranian! <laughs> oh, we had a friend I... who had a Pomeranian dog that was terrifying. <laughs> not terrifying, just like I not well behaved. I didn't like the dog. I oh, like actually, dogs, you could though. do the Missile voice. Missile's a boy, but it's a, it's a little dog. Oh, boy! <laughs> well, I guess I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camellia! Miss Camellia! Camilla. <laughs> my Miss Camilla's in trouble, and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. Uh, this is uh, yeah, not. Yeah, I know, I know. About. I'm just trying to think of something. But I died before I could rescue her. How <laughs> could I let her down like this? Was my voice <laughs> terrible for? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a Pomeranian. I'm a Pomeranian. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> Either one. Missile. <laughs> Missile. <laughs> So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before yeah, this little guy's death. Yeah, we need to save this dog. Time to save his life. Yeah. Time to save this his life. Is actually yes. what it said. Rewind time. Oh, yep. Whoosh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're definitely a better bet for Missile's voice. Oh, oh. boy! Let's see. First, I better see what I can find out about your deaf little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Hmm. Looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before you're deaf. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and... Not especially. <laughs> I love how the dog's just like, cool. <laughs> I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. <laughs> I just spat all over you. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. <laughs> okay. Also, I learned recently that Missile is the name of the like creator of the game's actual dog. Oh, we better save it. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on! Let's get started! Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold, then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Ooh, that's gonna be sad. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If I watch carefully, we ought to be able to see if- get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues! Woof woof. Yippee! Found the remote! How does he already know? Shut that mud up! <laughs> <laughs> no, Missile, you're not supposed to bark! The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. <laughs> if it barks again, <coughs> I'll knock this wall down! <laughs> 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 I thought that was the guy. Come you find 
thought it was a guy? No, I thought it was like the murderer man that was gonna have the gun and like, hello, it's me. And it's like, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I'll knock the wall down. <laughs> you don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Oh, why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but you just don't, uh, just don't get us killed, okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Darn, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know, I'll listen to music. Look at this missile's tail. <laughs> um. Oops, oops. Whew, that was close. This is so cute! Ah! I know, I'm gonna be so mad when he dies. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight! That's Same. a lot of donuts! Same! Those no. are just plain donuts! Those are the worst! Yeah. One fell off. Okay. And then a mouse ate it. Yeah, I'll knock this wall down! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like to do it. I don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate oh. charge, and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. Meanwhile, the girl's like- Camilla does- it's just the best to do. He's like, yeah! She's got the volume crimp way up oh. like Goofus. And Goofus turns the volume way up. So that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that! I'm dead! I'm kind of shocked to be- to tell, to tell the truth! Okay, let's get started on saving her! But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that! Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to save them is... WELCOME! <laughs> I can't help it! Okay, then I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that! Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones. Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it! I could call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me! Just like us! <laughs> Our mom does that too, and she'll be like, eh. They're called right. noise-canceling headphones! Mine aren't even <laughs> noise-canceling! And like, it'll be like, Marty. They cancel Marty. They cancel Marty. <laughs> okay. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm. You're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we know we have to do something about that. All right. Got to be on the game. Trick time. First things first, there's a door, there's a telephone, and there's the folding umbrella. Yep. I'm not sure what to do first. Well, we have to do one of those things, and remember, we want to find a way to get rid of her headphones, kind of. Ooh. Thought bubble. Well, can't really change the little lady's fate just by standing I'm around watching. I'm opening up the door! That intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. And my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. And the first step to that is getting rid of anything that might get in the way. <laughs> but we can't move past these areas, so... Ooh, thought bubble. <laughs> oh, so close! You almost knocked those right! down. Hey, I think you're onto something there. If we drop them in the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. Poor Camilla, though. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay. But you obviously never see Miss Lynn when she gets mad. <laughs> Shut the butt up! Oh, if there's a if there's a check mark next to it, we've already seen it before. Okay, I'll just click through this. <laughs> Shut the mod up! Shut the mod up! <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you'll give her a different voice later. Oh, oh wait, no. 
Never mind. Phone. I just door. meant Camilla has a fu uh, like a talk bubble, but we've already heard it because we've seen it for the four minutes before death. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We Sometimes you can't do wait. anything for a while. Um, so he, he, uh, missile was kind of like, "Hey, how about we knock the headphones into the water?" But we can't do it just yet. I'll so just be waiting. Let's retract first, then. You don't want her to walk. N you don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed. I want to watch TV. I'll listen to music. Okay, trick the umbrella. You're gonna want to retract it because we need it to punch at the right time. Oh, oh, thought bubble. Uh oh, this isn't good. Miss Camille is gonna put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know, and once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Did I screw up? Yeah, you did it at the wrong time. No! Can I hit the timer and then yep. start? Yeah. Guess I better rewind the clock. I wonder what the timing will be for that, then. Probably while she's like, Whoa, whoops, because she almost dropped them by herself. Oh. Can we speed up time? Uh, I'm gonna watch the door. <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Do all little dogs love to bark? No. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> she my young saw the lamp got knocked over. Holy cow. <laughs> Okay, well, we can't I do, do anything feel, I do feel bad for the uh, the lady who has to live next to Missile, just like, ruff, 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 ruff. Okay. Even if Missile is such a friendly around. dog. Yep. <laughs> Missile's like a plump little doggy. So cute. I love his little face, like... <laughs> yeah. It's so cute. Yeah, not all small dogs are friendly. Okay, so get ready when she's like, whoa! That's when you I'm press on, trick. I'm on the right thing. Yeah, okay. you are. Now. Oh no! Darn! How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla, I'm only doing it to save you! So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No, no! Uh, never mind that! The important thing is we managed to change the situation! That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Fate changed! Yeah, okay, good. We're gonna have to examine something. Question, if we hit dial in the past, will it be like, do you want to go somewhere? Yeah. Oh, I'm... Try it. That's funny. What's wrong? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. Hmm. Looks like I can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before death world. Okay. We're probably going to need to be on the door. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Good thing you had them in this convenient little bowl. Oh. The question is, what do we do I know now? What we're gonna do. Unless we can do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if only I had a big, strong teeth and an aggressive spirit! Don't worry, Nonako has big teeth! teeth. <laughs> hmm, doesn't seem like we can stop the Hitman from coming in. So in that case... Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide Miss Camellia? Or Miss Camilla? Hide, huh? That sounds like just the kind of idea a little doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could a little lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I might have just the place. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camilla in there, right? Exactly. If I could possess Camilla herself, the answer would be easy. But I can't do that, so I guess the only way here is to do <laughs> to do it is to lead her there. Now, what can I do using the objects in this room? I already know. I think I'll try out the various things and see what I can come up with. And I'll be here watching.
watching, cheering you on. Nice song. Nice song. <laughs> I can do like the Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> it's my song. <laughs> no, that would be too, that would be terrible. Um, hey, ghost. Oh. We could rock the bowl. Rock the Casper. <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> Rotate faster. I just want to do that. <laughs> Missile, if you bark like that, you'll make the lady next door start howling. If you keep this up, that wall's gonna come down on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will! That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. The poor little guy's up against some formidable opponents. The man in black and the woman in purple. <laughs> oh, we can't see it go... <laughs> Wait, I can't move, yeah. No, I can see oh, it. Oh, oh. Uh, there's a thought bubble. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. But when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And when I bark... Miss Camille always comes over and gives me a nice hug. Hmm, we might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Huh? How? Whenever the donut falls, the rat shows up to check it out. And then you go bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to you to quiet you down. Yes, that's just the way things work, I'm afraid. So in other words, the donut can be the bait that will lead the little lady to where we want her. <laughs> Santa in his sleigh is just like, oh, don't run! <laughs> Ooh, what? a latch. That's interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thought bubble. Something just fell! And quite dramatically, too! It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it was doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fell or fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me, too. We don't need to add to the number of ghosts around here. <laughs> you might want to rotate it slower to make it easier to uh, aim. Wait, time's better. Play? The star ornament, eh? <laughs> Shut the butt up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, pop bubble. Yeah. If you bark like that, how can anybody enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has to get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago! <laughs> Missile's great. You should try graduating from needless barking, too. Sorry, that's one thing I could just never give up! <laughs> oh, Missile never changed. So I actually don't remember exactly what to do. Rocket! Rock? Oh. Never mind, that didn't do anything. The one donut that can fall already fell. Guess you can't eat. There's still more stuff on the right side that you haven't. Uh, do I have to go all the way back? All you have to do is trick the tray. <sighs> but I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of time. We haven't gotten to like the bound, 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 bound music yet. Like the last uh, where it goes like three, nah. two, um, one. Um, just wait for the sleigh to come back. Santa's taking it for a joyride. I didn't do it right. There we go. Ho ho ho! Merry ghost trick, everybody! The painting. Her poor apartment! Oh, I thought you could rock it off the... Wait for Santa to come back. <laughs> Freaking Santa. <laughs> Stupid Santa! What the bleep, Santa? Fill it well. Lore lamp already fell. 
Well, we can open this door. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wow, you set that thing flying! I like to tidy up by shoving eyesores under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa, eh? That might be a spot the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camilla climbs under the sofa all the time, trying to catch me. You're a naughty little doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem now is how do I lead her under there? We're gonna find out. <laughs> we may- remember you can also go back to the checkpoint. After we knock the headphones in the fish tank. Yeah, well... Because we might need the donut. <laughs> and the donut's gone now. Let me just move. Oh, well, I thought maybe that'd work. Camilla's just like, Oh yeah, yeah Trey's right. moving out by themselves, you know. Pretty typical. That's a dedicated reader. She's yeah, reading the might, latest Harry Potter book. It's back. really good. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to Chicago. Wait, how do we do that? Hourglass. After fate change. Ooh. This is still kind of the tutorial area, though, so don't worry. Oh, Missile, he's so cute. Ah. Woof, woof. I'm in the mood for donuts. <laughs> Who isn't? So tr let's try moving the tray to the other side and then s send the donut down. So yeah, move the tray. <laughs> she didn't even. <laughs> Where'd the donuts go? <laughs> she oh, even, she oh hey, she moved to the other side of the the sofa. Yeah. Okay. So then Rock. Yeah. Do we want to do that? Try it. This is a lot of just trying a bunch of different stuff. A pink mouse! Get on Santa. Get on Santa. SHUT THE butt UP! <laughs> Where did the donut go? The donut That's disappeared! What I, That's what I- I told you, wait for Santa! <laughs> okay, I'll restart. <laughs> I thought maybe it would work if, like, she went after the ornament and the donut at the same time. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> this donut! <laughs> Where'd the donuts go? <laughs> In the mood for donuts tonight, y'all! <laughs> oh boy! I love boys! I can't do the missile voice. I, I, oh boy! I could do the missile voice before I hit puberty. Yeah. Which was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, that was... I actually hit puberty fairly late. I was like 15 or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wait. And now do I... I... Masculine. <laughs> <kind> of... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do... should I rock the bowl first? Now? Where'd the donuts go? <laughs> That's a lot of donuts you have. Just like... It's just, it's just on this tray. Did they get like room service or something? Okay, so don't... Don't trick the star, but rather... So the, the rat's gonna be over there, Missile's gonna bark at it. So ride on Santa's sleigh. Try to go over to the other side. Missile, no! What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Aw, my little missile, you're always doing the cutest things. Nobody's here, eh? Oh, donuts. <laughs> my prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Eating donuts. There, our little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it. 
Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I... saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you! Fate averted! <laughs> can I ask a question? Sure. What is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks. Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all! I just realized this is slowly turning into my pearl voice. I, well, your pearl voice is already for Camilla. Just a little, not quite as high hey, pitch. yeah. I, I guess? That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I... <coughs> Sorry. I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. The powers of the dead. The powers of the bees. <laughs> Sora. <laughs> Sora the bees. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll go back to being a happy little doggy living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But, we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe. If you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we better get getting back to the present. Time to see what happens in our next story. How beautiful. We saved the doggy. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. May the dog not bark. So, what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Well, keep in mind, look at how what Camilla's doing. She's kind of holding his mouth shut a little yeah. bit. She has a smart cookie. He's also with uh, Camilla, so he's probably pretty happy. <laughs> he still has the gum pointed. What? Still at the junkyard. All right, got it. I'm on my way. Hmph. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Ghost answer it anyway. Lynn! Trick time! Oh, that first. A call from Lynn, eh? Sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. Santa, don't leave without us! Oh, good. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Uh, <laughs> stupid Santa! <laughs> oh, oh, hey! There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor, dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklamp taught me. So, what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I better try possessing him and see. Oh, it's you! It's you! It's... Hmm. Missile gets his own theme music. <laughs> Come to think of it, I never did ask you your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to, re to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the trauma, the tearful goodbye, I miss all! But, you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember the time, your time being dead? Of course! All of it! <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. 
And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. Ooh, we'll have to talk to Lynn. <laughs> Looks that way, yes. Okay, well, that was pretty cool. Wait, no, I'm not gonna cancel. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna trick. Donuts move. <laughs> hey, here, have a donut, Camilla. <laughs> you really need it. Look in the junkyard. Camilla, oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if okay ex is what I am exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've got to get out of there right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while. And you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant, the chick- the chicken chicken. The, the chicken chi kitchen. The chicken kitchen that's so hard to say. No, it's not! The chicken, chicken kitchen. kitchen. <laughs> Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen, on the dead end drive. Or you could just say Chick-fil-A. Honestly, that also works. Meet me at Chick-fil-A at <laughs> dead end drive. Dead end drive? I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box then, can you? More like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. No, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Birds of Excuse a me. Ah! Lynn! That's a bad day for stuff falling in the fish tank. Not again. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? <laughs> sure, Vane! <laughs> but I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? <laughs> Trick okay, time! Missile, the way that he jumps up. Oh, shoot. I realized we just have to do this. Missile, the way that he jumps up reminds me of. Do you remember my really, really old My Little Pony? game for the GBA or GBA? No. You don't? Okay, well, all anytime you talk to a pony, they'll be like, woo! And they'll have, like, the exact same up-down animation. Is it like a Pona's from Ocarina of Time? Yeah, Whee! it's like a Pona's. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady is a bit of a klutz. The next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I better help Camilla find her treasure. Hmm, I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. Well, we saw one. Back when we were saving uh, Missile's death. Or his life. Do you remember? Don't open the door on Missile! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Missile! <laughs> He's good. He's good. <laughs> I know where it is. <laughs> Santa. Oh, yeah, Santa. We don't have to wait for him. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. oh, we're gonna have to make him speed up. Oh. Also, talk balloon for Camilla. Yeah, I will. Just first... No, wait! St stupid Santa! Hey, wait a minute. That cart just moved, didn't it? I always thought so, but that just proves it! This apartment building is... leaning to one side. Whew! This little lady knows how to keep me on the edge of my seat. Oh! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Good job. St stupid Santa! <laughs> oh yeah. That wooden box that just fell. That just might be the music box we're looking for. I bet the little lady will know it when she sees it. We're really close now. Possess the music box. Oh, wait for Santa. Stupid <laughs> Santa! <laughs> Stupid Santa, you're a real mean guy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Must be close to Christmas time, I just realized. If play, there's a Christmas tree. Play. Ruff, ruff, shut the water <laughs> She didn't say that. This is it, the music box. Yippee! 
Da -da -da -da. I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, Missile! If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I came home. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. <laughs> We're off to a great start already. Yeah. We come home and just, like, the next-door neighbor has killed the dog. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to sleep. Yay. Still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? It'll be a cinch. And we'll find out next time on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Cool! So you That wasn't terribly difficult. <laughs> I mean, Santa was annoying. Santa was so annoying, but otherwise, oh, oh, the rest oh, oh. of it was pretty. I mean, get used to stuff like that. Where yeah, you yeah. Have to, you have to Timing wait sometimes. Yeah, but that was that was a fun episode. Yeah, I like Missile. He's great. Missile's great. Tune in next time. We'll have to find a way out of the apartment somehow. We might talk to Missile again. Look forward to that, everybody. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless.